LCFR. More talk, less thought. Now, putting the dork in the dot-com revolution, it's the Electron Zone. Today on the Electron Zone, a computer that smells happy or sad based on the website you visit. Plus, it's a look into the virtual marriage intimacy therapy remedy future of relationships with the virtual reality glove. And loving yourself digitally. Is cyber sex the future? And how to find out. Plus, a woman whose love life has gone space age. Tom and I met on the internet a year ago, so I left my husband, and now I think I'm the first woman that is married to a domestic bot. Oh, yeah. I am going to blow my source code all over your face. Plus, tossers unite with the Technical Operating System 3.0. But self-appointed experts like Steve predict millions of Americans will toss off and switch to being a fruit head, which I'd love to see. The fruit operating system is so much classier. Yeah, if you're stupid and you don't know how to mount your motherboard. It's computing for people that don't know a gig bite from a teraflop. Whether you're a tosser or a fruit, you'll surely want to hear about the new cell phone that lives your life for you and sends you the bill. Plus, we'll review the Freaker video phone and see how well it transmits naked pictures of your aunt. Oh, awesome. And we'll visit a chat room and type with a starving child in Uganda. Hi, I'm Steve. Steve, Unix assassin known as the IP sniffer. Plus, we'll use the word revolutionary a lot and make you feel inadequate for not owning a piece of technology that will be obsolete as the abacus in moments. In moments, Bill! Sorry, uh, my avatar was in trouble and I can't take him back to therapy. Hi, I'm Bill, known on IRC as the Binary Bandit. Managing a life online where you get to swing and mouth off at strangers takes a lot of work. Trust me on that, I'm ahead of my time. Hopefully the media will pay more attention to the people I kill online rather than the people I really killed as a member of the army. <laughs> hey, I say that to every girlfriend I kill. Respawn, bitch! <laughs> Just kidding, I've never had a girlfriend. Speaking of my Penis. Life online, different than reality for sure, but which is more satisfying? How do you find time to live your life and your virtual life? Let's go to the phones, Emote Carbon. Hey, I was thinking about upgrading to that new version of Wind Chime. What do you guys think about that? Yes, great! The screen savers are amazing! WTF? <laughs> LOL! Look, we all know you spend more time with your computer than girls, so why get one that's complicated? Girls like computers should be easy, not freeze up all frigid-like or crap out on you. You may make fun of us fruits, but we understand each other and have a great time, especially in the ultimate Disc in the Dark online championship! <laughs> you know what? 10 print go to hell, okay? 20 go to 10. LMFAO! Not! How 1987 of you, a go-to joke! How basic! Yup, you got me there! What's next? A mud? <laughs> next caller! Hi, I was wondering what you guys thought of that movie, The Mainframe, and the controversy over cybersexism? Well, first off, if this were a chat room, I would be typing with one hand. IMHO, The Mainframe is the greatest movie of all time! Partially because it's so close to reality, especially the robot that defecates and the, the bit about the dork that saves everyone. I agree. And the rant in the movie about backdoor hacking and the fudge factor? Incredible. That was a metaphor from the deep bowels of hell, man. There was a guy last night in the chat room bashing the mainframe, and I had to flame him. I love flaming lamers. Anyway, let's take a break, get some propaganda going on. The number one board game is now a fully licensed video game. Vivisection's Lab Rat Kart Racing. It's better than all those other licensed kart racing games because this time, you don't die of boredom, you die of anthrax. Video games and education meet in this incredible package as you race, chase, and scream your way through a twisty course that bears a marked similarity to all the other kart racing games we made. You won! Cool, you advanced to the next level where you race on the same track again! Play Vivisection. Section and Lab Rat Kart Racing today. Ages 5 and up. Rated T for Terminal. LCFR. We bring opinions so you don't need them. Welcome back to the Electron Zone, brought to you by the House of Tomorrow. Yeah, peace, love, and unity, and death to all non-believers, man. It's a revolution out there. Yeah, tech revolution, and the revolution is coming to a retail store near you. You know what, Steve? They've been saying it for years, and it's finally happened. Robots are taking over. What was that called? In the future, there will be robots? Modern dance, you lamer. LMFAO, er, but yeah. In the future, 
is here right now. That's right, the robot revolution has begun. Pretty soon we'll all have devices planted in our brain which tell us when to eat and when we need to go to the toilet. It's incredible, but true. I was surfing about it yesterday. Yeah, but robots won't be big machines that look like people. Instead, they will be small things that exist inside other machines telling it what to do. A lot like modern machines, only robotic. That's the future. Just like the present, only completely different. Hey, let's hit the phones. Converse, probability wave. Hi, this is Ken. I'm calling from Carcer City. I've got a problem with my internet connection. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, uh, so, here's a uh, long story, medium length. I keep downloading these pictures for my hobby, and the FBI keeps turning up at my house trying to arrest me. I was just looking at pictures. I thought the internet was anonymous, and now everyone knows I'm into exotic things. What is this, me culture? I, me? Listen, dude, we're all one, man and machine, connected. So what if you want to look at pictures of illegally young sluts? We're all the same. I have to go, I have uh, several Toasted meat pastries coming out of my microwave. <laughs> Whatever, fruitcake, it's wrong. I made a screensaver about it. LMFAO at what a noob you are. <laughs> Who's on the phone? Hi, my name is Richard, and I used to be a journalist before the riot. I run a web page about the history of the internet. You know the one. Wow, that's so next gen. Y yes, yes, but in the 24 7 digital culture, there's a problem. I might miss something really important. So the question is how do I surf the old ISH? in the shower. Easy, Geronimo. Most laptops these days are completely waterproof and will function fine in the shower. Next caller. Hey, this is Jerome. I've got a real problem, man. I play Cavern of Sorrow online for like 12 hours a day and my avatars come out. I, I don't know what to do. It was right after a mission to Gash Canyon. I'm not prejudiced or anything, it's just not me. <laughs> well, that's tricky. Yeah, I don't know what to suggest. We don't really have a cyber closet. Yeah, yes we do. It's called the web. Yeah. <laughs> Who's on the phones? Hi, this is Denise, and I'm a first time caller. I'll tell you what, I'm really bored of the internet. It's a big bully. It's about time someone stood up to it. It's ruining our lives. The internet is beautiful. I've met some amazing people in and out of prison online, and now I never have to support my local businesses because I can get my cat litter online. Yes, but it's ruining lives. The internet is crabgrass. It'll keep growing until we're all dead or too fat to care. In my day, if I wanted anonymous sex, I'd go to a singles bar or a car key party, but now it's all in chat rooms. Uh, Janice, you gotta calm down or I'm gonna have to frag you. <laughs> but what happens when they can hack people? How do I know my husband is real anymore? I'm gonna have to hack him myself with this axe. Janice, listen to me. Calm down. Wait just to make my... Oh, she's gone. Well, I think that's all we got time for. Hey, stay plugged in, and don't forget to check out http colon forward slash forward slash www.electronzoneradio.com. All right, surf safe out there, everybody. We're out of here. Surf safe, everybody. Your mother's a sea prom. Whoa, at least you can program, you fruithead. Tosser. That's the show that takes typing with one hand to a whole new level.